I received a question in my creating and saving actions in Photoshop tutorial and the question was how to batch apply these actions. I'm going to show you three ways to do this. One is using Adobe Bridge and the other two is Photoshop. I'm not going to show you a Lightroom method for this tutorial. Now there's a couple things to keep into consideration here and how the action is set up will affect how the batch processes. And so I'll show you the three basic methods and then I'm going to show you some of those caveats. So if you try this process and you find that it's not working perfectly, watch the second half of the video because it might call out those um, changes that you need to make to the action or whatever so as to get it to run properly. Okay, first one is an Adobe Bridge. Adobe Bridge comes through with Photoshop. So I've got my batch demo here. So I've got a group of images that I want to run that sepia tone on, right? So in Bridge, all you do is go to Tools, Photoshop, Batch. And then what it's going to do here is bring up your action selection. So I'm going to go Default, and then I'm going to go Sepia and Save. And I'll call out why I've got two different versions of this later on. Everything else I'm going to leave unchecked. For the destination, I want to go a folder and I'm going to choose a different folder than the one that has the original images in it. And then hit OK. And you'll see in Photoshop here, it's going to quickly run and process that action on all of these images. While it's processing those, I'll just jump over to my batch results folder and you can see these all have that sepia tone process done to them. It looked terrible because the original images were processed in a different way, but you get the idea. This also comes in handy for perhaps doing a watermark. So that's the Adobe Bridge method. Now let's say you want to do this directly in Photoshop. So I'm going to delete all those because we don't need them. In Photoshop, you've got two different ways to do this. So when you launch Photoshop, the first one is go to File, Automate, Batch. And we can select that same action, but I'm going to show you a different action just for the sake of not showing the same one every time. This one, I'll choose Watermark MD, and you can see all of my options are the same. I'm going to choose my destination folder, which is going to be my batch results, and I'm going to hit OK. But you see here, this is one of those caveats that I was talking about. I In the action itself, I don't have a final step of saving the image. So what it's doing is it's asking me, well, do I want to save it as a JPEG? Well, this is going to be time consuming if I want to hit OK every time. So I'm going to cancel this, stop, and close. So in the action, what you want to do is to make sure you've got that final save as step. So notice in my sepia one, that last step is to save it. My watermark one, that last step is to merge visible. It's not called out to save it. So I'm gonna run the watermark on this. It adds the watermark like it's supposed to. It merged it into different layers, but I never saved it. So I'm just going to add one more step here and I'm going to, with watermark selected, I'm going to hit begin recording and I'm going to just do that last step of file, save as. I want to save it as a JPEG. Save. And notice we just got save as the last watermark step. So I'm going to stop it. Now we're going to go back into our batching. Automate batch. I'm going to select that watermark MD. In the batch results, we are getting those watermarked images. But wait, there's more. 
don't stop watching the video yet because there's another way around this. Let's say you've got an action like my first sepia one that does not have a stop at the end. It's okay because we can batch process this without adding that save step. So in essence, you can almost ignore everything I just said. That's our third method that we're going to show you for how to batch process. So we go to File, and instead of going to Automate Batch, we're going to go Scripts Image Processor. Now in Scripts Image Processor, the dialog looks a little bit different, but it's the same. You want to select your Source folder and your Destination folder. And let me jump and delete everything in there. Now with this one, we get a third step here, a save as option. So you can choose save as JPEG, you can save it as a PSD or as a TIFF. And this is going to add that save as step that we that I had just recorded into those other ones. So notice I'm selecting my sepia one. We know this one doesn't have a, the save step and I'm going to run it. It's batch processing. Let's jump over to my batch results. We've got that JPEG folder that is just created, and notice they're all sepia toned. So that's the three methods that you can use. Just keep in mind with those first two methods, you need to make sure to have a save at the end of your action. If you're using the third option, then you don't need to have a save at the end of your action. Caveat that I want to call out is, now I've got, in my most used here, I've got an action a fill flash action and what this does is I'm going to run it really quick and show you so I'm just going to continue past that and now notice what it has here is it has a stop in it where I want to actually use the brush tool and I want to paint some fill light in here so I hit continue and it stops the process and now I can do a little here let me increase my opacity so you see what I mean so it's going to paint in some additional lighting so that I can use to fill in some of those shadows or whatever I want to fill in. That's one of the steps in the action. Well, let's say I want to run this as a batch. And you might be able to guess what's going to happen here when I do that. So we're still in Photoshop. It doesn't matter. Once again, you can use any one of the three methods. I'm going to go batch. In my most used, I've got my digital fill flash. I'm not changing anything else and I'm going to run it and notice I get to my continue start painting where I want light but it gives me now it's taking me directly to that save dialog it, it's not giving me the option of doing that paint and then it's going to do the same thing again so there are some caveats in regards to actions and this makes sense because if you think about it if you're using a brush to paint on a specific area it, it's not going to know what areas you want that painted on right so that action batching that particular type of an action won't work you need to batch actions that are doing an overall change to an image such as changing uh, the processing like the sepia tone or a vignetting if you want to do a vignetting or it's real popular if you want to do a watermark now for me i generally use lightroom when i want to batch watermark but if you don't have lightroom and you just have photoshop that's the way to batch a watermark into your image i know this was a bit longer than most of my videos but as you saw there's multiple ways to do this and little caveats that you want to call out while you're doing it